in previous lecture we learned the basic interface of unity in this lecture we are going to learn how we can apply different kind of texture to different 3d game objects so i am going to create simple three game objects go to 3d game object create cube i'm going to change the position to 0 0 0 so cube will be in center third go to 3d game object create another sphere oh sorry game object 3d and sphere Just move a little bit then go to game object 3d game object and go to plane and i'm going to move that plane a little bit lower maybe minus 0 0.5 then i'm going to change the x size of plane so it will look like a whole ground now we need texture to apply on these 3d game objects i have given a link in the link of texture to download below the this video you can easily download these textures and unity package i already downloaded that so drag and drop that unity package to your project write this and import it will take some time to import now we have textures double so for cube we have brick so rename that cube to brick and sphere to ball and plane to ground so we are converting this simple game object to different game objects now select brick and drag and drop that brick texture here now you see brick textures is applied to brick and then select ball and drag and drop that brick texture uh, football textures to ball now you see football has been created and now select ground and drag and drop now you see ground texture is not looking so good so you can change the tiling options here now you see maybe we need more tiling maybe the tiling is more so we can reduce the tiling now see textures has been applied to different cd game objects you can apply different texture like this now we can create special effect by applying normal maps to our texture or game objects for for example if you want to apply normal map to ground texture just select ground i am going to tie little bit more to give a realistic look to our ground select ground and press ctrl d to duplicate the texture now see a duplicate of texture has been created in the name that texture to ground normal map ground and map so it will be normal map ground and map and select again and in inspector you will select normal map and apply
and you will see a blue type of texture will be created now select ground and there is the option of normal map and drag and that normal map to now you see a realistic ground has been created and giving a look of that rock type ground now you can apply normal map similar similarly to different other game objects now i will select brick rename that brick to brick and map select change that option to normal map apply and select brick there is the option of normal map drag and drop that normal map and uh, now see the brick is giving giving you a realistic effect like a real wall similarly you can apply normal maps and texture and material to different game objects now that's all from this lecture we will make prefabs and other things in our lex lecture thanks for watching bye